Hi there. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new iOS app for the DJI Inspire. This is version 1.0 and it's available on the App Store. So I'll talk about some of the changes from the previous versions. The version I had was uh, version 0.91. So you have some new settings in here. You can enable hardware decode. There's also a way to view a histogram. So by turning it on here, now you get histogram information on uh, the bottom next to your map. Also with the maps, you now get a scale on the top left, or on the iPhone it's on the top right. Also, under advanced settings, now have gain and expo tuning. So you can control your throttle up, your rudder right, and rudder, re rudder, reft, rudder left. So uh, th this is new for this as well. And you also have the option for a uh, 16 by, by 9 for the camera. So if you hit function, image size, you can change it from 4x3 to 16x9. And so the other new change I noticed, which is on the user center, uh, flight information, is uh, when you go back to a flight now and you hit play, you can actually review, you see an icon here for your remote control. So you tap that and it shows the inputs you're giving on your remote control setting. I think this is really helpful as you can like uh, review your flying behavior from your past flight. Another cool thing I found is under Academy you can now choose uh, wind speed and restart. So under wind speed you actually have a lot of options here. It starts out on six and a half miles per hour north. So you click on that and you can actually edit the wind. So you can uh, use these arrows here to adjust the direction and you can speed it up real high. So this would be a great way to play around and really familiarize yourself with how the Inspire will operate in wind. Let's do this at uh, 30 miles per hour. Okay. So we bring this guy in here and you can see he is leaning now so not too many changes, it still has the uh, same form and function that you're used to, but they've added uh, a few nice additions to the app. Uh, obviously the biggest thing is they finally have it on the App Store, and it does work via the video connection. So this is connected to the remote, and now instead of having to uh, install this through the backdoor method, you can just download it and future updates right off the App Store. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video.